Anaganish is probably one of the best places to fish eels in Nova Scotia. For years, for hundreds, thousands of years. So when I go there, I, I th think about all those Mi'kmaq who fished there in the past and, and wonder about what the future has for us, you know, fishing in Anaganish. Kadawa, dewi jam kedai rasid, mega magi. Pesan nabu wak kadawa itu. Kode ini ke ya, akpin merkuis kedai sekarang nak kada. Pasukan tu nak kada lagi. Tujuh elip elip bidadu nak pin kala. Menagi sepade na, kijimul kedai kode ini ke muj. Am sekolah lau udang ka. Mendemu bokci guna hari je. Buat kita habis jual hari je. Mendemu orang ni guna tak? Kita habis jual kiri jual lagi. Abang ini sing kaj, Uncle Simon. Modal lu, kau maji pas? Riba ni maji. Tele maji ya? Kunci dia mungkin kunci puas kita. Tapi kalau jap cecah mami ko, talip kita kis talip kita oksida. Apa tak nari? Sebab tak belu. So dulu ini na buat tangho ya. Jin yang kis lari kira. Dan ni kis ko wis tesen nak ko, macam wis. Dulu ini muda biasa, muda pecewi, cinta kamu. Akhirnya dulu ini sama kan itu buat tak kau kisi kau dah sih, tan muda leh ini aku. Muda ha, muda juga kan, muda juga kan, tan tan us tan us kawas ini memeh kadeu, mana kisi aku. Kau jadi kelihatan jeda, nama muda muda biasa, muda pecewi. Akhirnya dulu ini buat tak kau kisi kau dah sih, cinta kamu, kisi buku ini aku. Mula dulu ini nol nuaka dua mesti pergi salah uji. Abang sama saya eli dah asal tiji. Ada kes tu leh ni yang kita uji ke la. Kadai unok tu kat. Pukul tak kau itu la, pukul tak kau itu la ada sih mesti la ada unegum. So we went out and uh, I showed your son how we. We cut a hole in the ice with an axe, a round hole, and uh, and then basically uh, showed them the spear that we use, and um, we caught a couple eels. We caught three eels, I believe. I could just being out there. It's like a little community when you're out on the ice. You meet people. <laughs> You don't see them anywhere else. Sometimes you'll see them in Tim Hortons or something, but you've met them on the ice. And you only know them that way, is fishing. And uh, the only time you get to see them is in the wintertime. And sometimes you don't see this person anymore and you wonder what happened to him. So he either passed away or he's too old to fish. And you wonder who's getting gills for him. Uh, <laughs> Hi, my name is Shelley Denny and I'm the biologist for the Unamagi Institute of Natural Resources. And today I'll be talking a bit about eels and the study that we've been doing in the Bredore Lakes and what we've learned about them so far. Uh, this eel is, uh, it measures 602 millimeters or 60.2 centimeters. So it's, it's a typical eel that we would find here in the Bredore Lakes. Um, many of our fishers don't get them very small, so they usually get them around um, around this size or slightly smaller. So after we take the length, we go in and measure how heavy it is. And it's 413 grams. 
So in order to tell what, how old an eel is, you have to remove um, the odlets. And the odlets are special structures that are located within the brain um, that they use for orientation. And they're also pretty good because they record growth rings, growth patterns. So by removing them and sending, having them sent away, we can actually age um, this fish and see how old he is or she. Well, this is an eel odlet that uh, we send away to be aged. And then we take the information back from the age to apply it to the length category of the fish. So it helps us uh, uh, determine the age of other fish that we can't afford to identify. Well, all eels are born in, in the same place in the Sargasso Sea uh, near Bermuda. All eels, the ones in Newfoundland, Gulf of St. Lawrence, Bredor, Florida eels, they, they all come from the same place. The, their population is known as uh, panmictic. It means that they come from one genetic, um, one genetic population. Once eels spawn, they presumably um, die, and the eggs um, quickly hatch into larvae, uh, known as leptocephali, and they drift on the ocean's currents for about a year or so. After about a year, they, they change their shape again. They, they leave the glass um, leaf-like shape and become more eel-like in, in appearance, um, only they're see-through, and they're known as the glass eels, and they drift. Um, they're more of an active swimmer, and they can... Um, uh, th those are the eels that come into the rivers. Uh, once they hit the rivers, they, they change their color and become pigmented, so they take on the typical eel colors, and then they hide for several years, uh, coming out when they get larger to 